Welcome to Breaking Free, Beyond Matter, Mind and Malady. So in this series we are really looking at breaking free and not spending so much time about looking at how we got there, why we got there. This is not an analysis. This is more of an experience to listen to that longing and that yearning within. So let me drum a little bit for you so that you may too can feel what you're really longing for, what you're yearning for. Let us see what it is. came to you what are you longing for most of us are longing for something that we feel we have lost maybe for a part of us some of us may choose the medicine of plants the sacred plants the master plants like ayahuasca and San Pedro some of us may have gone to psychologists and some may not be amongst us as they could not find what they have been looking for. Many years ago, I came across the word connectedness. And you know, it fascinated me because it means the longing to be connected. It seems like the world is separated. And today I want to talk about breaking free from separation. We are partially separated from a true self. We have become a version of humanity, a version of who we are supposed to be, a version of cause and effect a version of the good boy, the good girl that gets rewards and the bad one that gets punished. We have tried to find a single reason and linearity. We have tried to predict to get security and yet we are lost. Most of us. And even though you have maybe moments like myself of this connection to that true self, for the lack of a better word. And yet, what does it mean? So when you find your true self, then what changes in this world? When you step out of separation, where are you going? Who are you really separated from? In some cases, we're even separated from our own life. We acquire so much. 
education, success, good jobs, money, things. And when we have them, we're still not feeling complete or whole. So it's breaking free from a concept or from part of what life is all about. As we have now done this, you've had the status, you've had the success and you had the failure. You had the things, I had the houses, I had the cars and yet it was not what we were longing for. And it doesn't mean that you shouldn't have it. It just means you are not attached and addicted. That you go into a, a relationship of being grateful that you have it, enjoying it, but not needing it. So maybe that is the first place to break free. Break free from separation. Separation from who we truly are and who we feel that we should be in this world. Lockdown did a lot of these things for us, didn't it? Especially the first one or two months when we really had a time to go within. As it continued, it became more taxing, more challenging for most of us. And many of us feel broken, disillusioned. Because all what we seem to have is no more. And it ain't come back. But we still have. Most of us are still eating. The earth is still producing. You may still have your savings account and your savings, your house, your cars, whatever. Do you still have your career? Does your career still matter? Or are you still trying to be someone in an old system that has already gone? Are you still punishing yourself for not being who you wanted to be? Or are you willing to break free? So breaking free from separation is actually stepping into the unknown. Letting go of the attachments, letting go of the addictions. Whether it's food or whether it's things, whether it's concepts or identity, whether it's worldview or a career. Who are you truly? In many ways, this planet seems to fall apart. It's hurting, it's struggling, but it's changing. So the new shamans that are coming in now are primarily for the world. The healing, the vitality and the shift of this world. Hopefully together with us humans. Because that too was a separation. Did we really care? what nature felt, when we exploited it, when we hurt it, when we damaged it. Now we're suffering the consequences. Now we're kind of in the hold of our own making. And yet, when we're breaking free, there's another way. So the separation brought us here. In many spiritual traditions, the separation was the time before 2000 or 2012. And now actually we have already stepped in a space into an energy of wholeness. 
So the invitation is already out there for a long time. The time of the Aquarian takes a lot of shaking and breaking to truly step into it. And if you are into astrology, you can see how the planets really conspire with this shaking and breaking. Breaking free means to be whole again. So I want to invite you for a little sound that maybe allows you to see or imagine what it could be like if we break free into a world beyond cause and effect, beyond the fate that we have written for ourselves, but into a new and empty space that is yet to be written and explored. So let me invite you through the medicine of sound. How does it feel to let go, to be free, to step into this world of synchronicity, intuition and insight, wisdom that doesn't come from cause or effect. Imagine we can step out even from the good boy and the good girl. Imagine you can break free. So I hope this helped you today a little bit. I'm always keen to hear what it feels like for you in your world. And I'm happy to, to engage with you. I'm happy to have a conversation with you. I'm happy to guide. I'm happy to be a bridge. And I surely have two ears that can listen, whether it's public or private, that's up to you. We are all together in this and yet all of us individually need our own help. And this is also about this transpersonal and transworlding that I'm talking about. I will tell you more about breaking free in the next episode. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for listening. And thanking, thank you for being part of this new world.